Hello and welcome to Socky Tech. So in today's video, I will show you guys how to gain S off on your HTC One. Thanks to the release of the Universal Rum Runner tool, gaining S off now has become exceedingly easy on the many variations of the HTC One. Now, just so you guys know, I was able to gain S off on my AT&T HTC One, which was running stock Sense 5.0 and Android 4.3 with each boot version 1.55 now regardless this method will work on most HTC one models and the best part is it doesn't hurt to try so you can try following this method and if it doesn't work no harm will come to your device uh, so let's find out how to do it as is with any procedure we have some prerequisites the biggest one is your HTC one must have an unlocked boot loader or your HTC One must be rooted. Now I do have a link to a video that shows you how to do both in easy to follow crystal clear instructions. So if you don't have an unlocked or rooted phone go watch that video the link is in the description below and then come back here to continue forward. Okay so here are the things you have to make sure that you have disabled or enabled on your phone. So the first thing is make sure you go to settings and at the bottom here under developer options enable USB debugging okay and if you don't see the developer options here what you can do is you can go into about go to hardware information oh, I'm sorry go to software information go to more and tap the build number seven times if you tap the build number seven times the developers options pops right up so go back out there like I said make sure USB debugging is enabled number two in the settings again go to power and at the bottom make sure fast boot is disabled and finally go back into settings and under security you have to make sure screen lock is enabled to none so you do not want any kind of screen security turned on your phone okay and finally make sure that the USB the micro USB cable that you're attaching to your computer is being connected to the computer on a USB 2.0 port don't use a 3.0 port it could give you some problems and just leave this phone as it is uh, we can switch back to the computer and we're good to go okay so in the description of this video there's a link that will take you to this website post once you're here scroll down and look for required downloads okay and from here what you want to do is you want to download these two files one two so grab the universal rum runner tool so click that uh, go to downloads and then from here scroll down and grab the HTC universal rum runner tool for Windows right here okay or Linux and then uh, if you have a Verizon HTC one you have to get one of these guys so there's a huge list here of the rum runner tool for the Verizon HTC devices okay so once you grab this universal file right here exit from this website go back to my website and this time grab the Android SDK bundle so click that link download the SDK agree to the terms and whatever version computer you have choose that I have a 64 bit and then click download okay so once these files are downloaded what I want to do is let's uh, go down here and I created a new folder called s off and I put put both of those files inside here so let's go in here and uh, what we have here is we have the ADT bundle zip file which I extracted right over here and then we have the rum runner zip file so extract this as well extract to rum runner and then delete the zip files you don't need the zip files after you extract them it's gone and gone now let's uh, make take care of the ADT bundle first so once you're here go inside keep digging in go to SDK and this is the folder you really need so copy this go back to the root folder of S off 
paste the platform tools folder right here and then just delete this ADT bundle and then with the rum runner tool it can stay as it is now let me show you why we downloaded the platform tools folder go inside okay um, press shift on your keyboard and uh, right click on your mouse and then look for open command window here and then you're gonna see this command window now before we run the rum runner tool we have to make sure ADB and fast boot is working okay otherwise you're gonna have problems so that's the only reason we downloaded the ADT bundle so how do we make sure that ADB is working what you do is you type in ADB and then type in devices Now I'm assuming you have your HTC one already connected to your computer and the USB debugging is in fact enabled so as long as that is true uh, type this command in and press enter and this is what you're gonna see now you may get some kind of prompt on your HTC device just press OK if you see anything happening on your HTC one phone okay so uh, after this happens just type in ADB devices one more time press enter and you must see list of devices attached and you'll see a random number and device next to it that means we're good to go now we can run the rum runner tool okay so now we have prepared everything so we can actually go ahead and run the rum runner tool as you can tell preparation is more important than actually running this tool okay so as long as you have done everything I told you to go to this folder and simply run this soju executable file so once you click this file you're gonna come across this stuff it's gonna give you a warning do you understand the implications of this warning type in yes after you read it okay and then it's gonna give you a couple um, tips here so you're gonna have to wait they want you to read all this stuff and you can ignore these messages as long as um, you did everything I told you to do okay so once you read all these three type in yes and press enter and that is going to start the procedure to gain s off on your phone now just to be clear you don't have to do anything else okay so once you press yes and press enter you're good to go everything's gonna happen in the background your phone is going to uh, turn off and turn on several times just let it happen at the end of this procedure you're gonna get a message saying uh, process complete you are now s off or it's gonna tell you that process is not complete because your phone is not supported okay I'm not going to run mine because I already have s off on my device but there's nothing else you have to do as far as input goes from your side so just press uh, type in yes press enter and let this tool take care of its business okay remember your phone will restart several times just ignore it until you get the message right here you, you're gonna see a bunch of scrolling text just let it run until you see the message that says either that you're done or that you are not supported oh and one final thing as your phone is restarting over and over through the process at some point you may get this prompt on your HTC one where the uh, the super user app is going to request permission for the ADB shell all you have to do is click grant okay so that's the only input you may have to do if you don't do it it happens automatically anyway it just takes a little longer so if you see that uh, pop-up show up on your HTC one if you catch it just press grant and you're good to go all right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.